Hey guys, welcome to lesson 11, the first video. I think the only video for lesson 11, and lesson 11 is really short, but I just wanted to show you something um, in module two, topic C, where we are right now, addition and subtraction of fractions, whole numbers, and mixed numbers. We have um, four, five lessons. Uh, lesson 10 was our last lesson, add whole numbers and mixed numbers and add mixed numbers with related units. Now we're working on unrelated units in lesson 11. Lesson 12 is subtraction, mixed numbers, and whole numbers. Then lesson 13 is subtraction with related units, and lesson 14 is unrelated units. So you should be noticing that this whole topic C is addition and subtraction where we're using whole numbers and mixed numbers. So we're really um, firming up that understanding of adding and subtracting fractions that you worked on in topic B, okay, where we were just adding and subtracting like and related and unrelated and unlike fractions, right? So now we're doing the same thing, except now we're having mixed numbers and whole numbers, okay? So lesson 11, like I said, it's going to probably only be one video and fairly short, but we'll see how it goes. Um, let's jump into our first question. There we are. Our first question. Um, this is in your book, um, lesson 11, and it is a word problem. So let's read, draw, and write. Um, starting with reading, of course. A banana muffin recipe, mm, banana muffins, uses two and one-third cups of flour. A blueberry muffin recipe uses two and three-fourths cups of flour. How many cups of flour are needed to make both recipes? Okay, so I'm going to make both banana muffins and blueberry muffins. That sounds delicious. What expression do I need to use to find how many cups of flour are needed to make both recipes. So yes, I'm making both recipes. So that would be all together, right? So hopefully we're thinking of an expression that is adding our two mixed numbers. And remember, they are mixed numbers because we have whole numbers and fractions together in the same number, two and one third plus two and three fourths, right? Okay, awesome. Are our units related or unrelated? And when we're talking about related and unrelated units, we're talking about these fractions right here. We see that this one has fourths and this one has thirds. So let's think about it. Can I multiply three times something to get four? Can I multiply four times something to get three? No. So that means they are un related. Okay. You might be thinking about a fact family. Three times four is 12 and four times three is 12. They are, um, you know, we can multiply them together. Sure. But we can't multiply one to get the other, right? That would make them related. Okay. So what unit would we use when we rename these fractions? We would probably use twelfths, right? So we would take just the fraction part and change it to twelfths. So one third times four over four, right? Because I'm going to change it to twelfths. So that would be four twelfths. And you're making sure that you're writing this down on your page, right? Right under number one. So four twelfths. Um, don't forget that it's two and four twelfths. All right. So we got to make sure we bring our whole number along with us. And then three fourths. What can we multiply by fourths to get twelfths? Remember our frame three times three over three, three fourths times three over three, right? Because three times four is 12 and three times three is nine. So now we have to add it all together. Two and four twelfths plus 
plus two and nine twelfths. Very important that you're careful to bring that whole number along with you because two and four twelfths is a lot different than just four twelfths, right? Yes? You want to say hi to Coda the puppy? Say hi, Coda. She just jumped up here on the bed and she's trying to chew on the computer. Yeah. All right. Back to math. So we add our whole numbers together. 2 plus 2 is 4. And we add our fractions together. She's like trying to touch the computer. Three, uh, 9 plus 4 is 13. And sorry. Go on. Get. Go play with something. If only I had something for her to play with. Here. Ready? 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 Go get it. Go. All right. 13 twelfths. And this is an improper fraction, which is 1 and 1 twelfths. So I would add that to the 5. So now we have 5 and 1 twelfths. And don't worry if that is a little bit confusing to you. We will be continuing to work on it. And of course, we need a sentence. Please write a sentence that says, we need 5 and 1 twelfths. Five and one twelfths what? Five and one twelfths cups of what? Flour. Awesome job. Okay. So that is our introduction to adding um, mixed numbers in a word problem. Now we're just going to look at one more problem. Make sure you have that written down. If you don't have that written down, pause me now. Get it written down. Because I'm clearing it off. And we're going to look at one more problem. And Coda's having a fun time playing with the paper. Um, station one. Sorry, I can't find the problem for station one. Okay, I'll just write it on the board for you. Google Doc, blank document. Okay, so for station one, we are looking at five and seven ninths. What happened? Okay, I can write it. Five and seven ninths plus three and two fourths. All right, and very similar to what we worked on before with our last one, right? 